Buenos dias. Good morning for me down at Lily Park Properties. Right, I've, I've fallen in love. I've fallen in love again. How could you not fall in love with that? Look at that. To buy a property over here in Spain and to have a view like that, I'll be thinking I need to spend a million pound. Honestly, how stunning. Now I'm in Cabo Severa. Cabo Severa is the north side of Torre Vieja and La Mata, that's La Mata, the village, yeah? And that, that actually goes on for about five, six kilometers right up into Guatemala. All the surfers out there, look. Can you see the surfers? Anyway, look, I'm a uh, bottom end of La Mata, top end of Torre Vieja. I'm also next door to the famous bar, restaurant, the Bar Lavento. Actually, that restaurant goes all the way along. And it doesn't look like much from here, but it's like a galleon. You know, a bit like a ship. So when you go in there, you feel like you're inside a boat. So we've got a bit of parking, got a couple of ice cream parlors underneath me. And then we've got uh, the beach wraps around. So there's a little walkway all around there. Now this part around here and all the way around is really good for snorkeling. Snorkeling. Bit rocky there. And then beach, just sand. Sand, parts of sand dunes. Bars and restaurants there, Italian just there. Got Deutsche Bank up the top of the road, got Mercadona at the top of the road, and a consume. Now, why do I know so much about this area? Because I used to live around here many, many years ago, and I worked in La Mata selling property all along the coast here. So I can vouch for this area. Cabo Severia is very, very nice. Now, you want to see the property, don't you? Oh, look at the view. Right, it needs a little bit of love. But whoever is going to buy this is going to renovate it and do it up. Or maybe not. It's the perfect escape. It's the perfect bolt hole. That's in the bedroom. So let me take you outside the front door. Go through the property. That's not pokey, you'll see that just as I come to the front door. We're on the second floor, believe it or not. It feels quite high, yeah, when I came here, but we're only on the second floor. Look, that's my car. It's got all gardens through the middle. Actually, we've got a, um, what do they call it? Not a communal pool. It's a, uh, stuff it, what do you mean? Pay as you go pool. Anyway, got pool, bar, restaurant, tennis courts, all sorts of things going on there. There is a lift to this block as well. Yeah, there is a lift. So you can come up the second floor, come out the lift there, and then come to your escape. Come to your heaven. Right, kitchen. Shut the doors there. Old Spanish kitchen. If you want to put a new one in, cost you about five grand. If you wanted to do all the floors, cost you about three grand. If you want to do a full bathroom, cost you about four grand. If you want to do the walls, the doors with new doors, architrave, about 250 euros to 300 euros per door. You then have a fully renovated apartment. So we've got one big bedroom there. That is a double bed. We have a full bathroom there. There you go. Yes, that is a bath. We don't really see them back in the UK, but that is a bath. This is a big shower tray. B day. Look, rip the lot out, renovate it. Then, little dining area, breakfast bar, big sofa, TV. Come through, we have large bedroom. And like I said, the large bedroom opens up onto the terrace. And then we come out here. Back to our view. There you go. Right, I want to live here. I want this part. I would have this apartment at a flipping drop of a hat. It really is. One of the nicest apartments. It's a lovely apartment. It's one of the nicest apartments I've been in. Well, I'm not trying to oversell it or whatever. It's got a view, right? I'm going to go down and show you around where the tennis courts are. Right, whatever you're doing, have a lovely day. Adios. So here I am, just downstairs from the apartment. The apartment I'm talking about is literally that one there, just above the palm tree. Yeah, that's the palm tree. And then down near the sea. They're just clearing it out, just getting ready for lunch. Talking about the restaurant, look. The Galleon, Bar Lavento. 
very, very famous restaurant. You can like oysters and all that sort of thing in there. Like I say, it's done like a boat. Go okay, through it quickly. They're just prepping up, it's quite early still. The old lobsters in there. And they've got a wonderful, wonderful tapas restaurant along here. You can come pull up a chair, or sit up on one of the high benches and eat the food. They've got little secret sections as well. There we go. A little bit more info for you in the area. Just one restaurant really, but there's loads of restaurants around here. That's probably the nicest. And there's our apartment. Right. If you're interested in this, let me know. Adios.